9.5 meters below space and time. This crash is it. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. Welcome back to Physics Teacher. Today I'm going to show you some experiments you can set up and do in Algodoo that you may not have thought possible. The first is a little mini solar system here. So I've taken off gravity and air resistance and I've created this little solar system that I'll show you how to do. And as you watch it, you can also slow down the simulation speed or even speed it up. Another thing I'm going to show you are lasers and optics. So here I have a laser and it's set up to hit these mirrors which I've fixed in place. And you can rotate the mirrors and analyze um, laws of reflection. And even if you want to have fun, you can place this object in front of the laser and make the laser able to cut. So when I run, I slice it in half. Now it's not falling because I don't have gravity on, but if I turn gravity back on, there it goes. Right. More things that you can do with lasers. Is you can create all sorts of experiments. You can have create telescopes set up. You can analyze multiple lasers through uh, different lenses like um, diverging lenses up here. Right. Or converging lenses, which I have here. And you can even change the lenses into mirrors. Right. Like a diverging mirror or a converging mirror. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. All right, so let's start with the solar system. First, let's create the sun. So I'm going to put the sun in here and I can change its material. I just changed it to gold to look yellow, but you can also go into appearance and have it any kind of color you want. Right? Maybe you have a, a blue giant <laughs> or something like that. And then what you're going to have to do is change the um, level of attraction. You're going to want to make it get, um, fall off with a quadratic because right? Newton's law of universal gravitation is an inverse square law. So if you make it fall off as a linear, uh, your planets are going flying into the sun, which is something you don't want. Uh, something you also want to do is turn off gravity or else this is just going to fall down. And turn off air resistance, or if there's air resistance, then uh, the planets that are going around are going to have decaying orbits that are, will eventually fall into the sun. So then you can just create any planet you like and give it some initial velocity. Now you're going to want that velocity to be tangent um, to the radius towards the center of the planet or the sun. So I'm going to do this and you hit play. All right, so you hit play and obviously it curved, uh, but it was going way too fast. So let's slow that down a bit or you can increase gravity, your choice. I'm going to slow it down and try playing again. So there we go. It's in an orbit, a fairly elliptical orbit. Uh, if you wanted the orbit to be more circular, uh, you're going to have it slow down a little bit in that initial position because you can see it has too much kinetic energy that it, it overshoots a little bit. So if we were to take its velocity and bring it down a little more, that was too much. Uh, here's another thing. If you don't want it to sort of roll around the planet, you can click on the planet and under material select killer what that means is anything that comes in contact with it it will destroy all right so let me redo this killer and it's gone but we don't want to destroy our planet so let's increase its velocity a little bit And you can create multiple ones at different orbits, analyze their orbital speeds. You can notice that the further out there are, um, the lower uh, required velocity to actually maintain an orbit. Okay, so let's create a new scene and I will show you how to 
do optics. So for optics, you have a laser right over here. So you just put that in there. There's your laser. Now to create a mirror, you can just use a rectangle. And I am going to go to material. I'm going to make it glass and I'm going to change the refractive index to a maximum. So when I do that, everything will just bounce off of it. And then you can rotate it however much you like. And you can analyze uh, laws of reflection. If you wanted to create um, a lens, what we can do, there are two ways you can do this. First is we can create a circle. And you can create a circle for whatever size you want, depending on what kind of lens you want. And we can put that in there and we can cut it as I've shown you in previous ones. So we're just going to subtract. All right, so now we have a converging mirror. And to prove that, we could add some more lasers in there. Let's add another one here. And here. Right, so you can see the rays converging to a focal point. Now there is an easier way to do it. All you have to do is there go over here to this icon and there's already things selected. There's a array of lasers and there's a prism, different lenses. Right? Now these are going to be lenses, not mirrors. So as you can see, the converging one it converges our rays, the diverging one diverges them. But if you wanted to make them into mirrors, all you have to do is do what I showed you before. And we're going to go to material and max out the refractive index. So now it's a mirror. Now, one thing I will mention about the cutter function that I showed earlier, if you want this to cut, you simply make it a cutter. However, let's turn off gravity. If you just turn it on, it's going to cut <laughs> your lenses, which is not so good. So what you want to do is click on your lenses and we are going to make them immortal. If you make them immortal, nothing can cut them. So now we take our laser. We turn it into a cutter. Let's turn gravity off again. And you'll notice this one has not been cut, even though this one has. All right. And lastly, you can see that really cool total internal reflection happening in there. So you can do experiments like that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun using these new tools.